Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap on a new episode of Shin Mai Mao no Testament Burst, though, which is on episode 7, or you could call it the Testament of Sister New Devil Burst, though. Now, this episode right here, pretty nice, nothing much really going on, but a setup to certain motion, to the certain, certain motion events that I really look forward to, which I'm really pretty excited for. Hopefully, they, they do not disappoint. And so, if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning, we have to it that Basara and his harem group, apparently, we all know that, arrives at Leo Hart's castle and is getting ready for the tournament for the time being. They were checking out for traps thanks to. They were checking out for traps and thanks to Kurumi's power, she. She confirms that there are no um, traps ab um, involved in the place that they're gonna be taking refuge or shelter at for the time being for tomorrow for the t tournament upcoming and it seems like Basura had to make the girls submit you know make them stronger if anything in other words like that and it was pretty tense but one of these guys that showed up showed up or something seems a little like I'm nasty he even wonders like how meal would taste like after he's been like having his own pleasurable pleasurable time with these other women, you know? And when the time came um, the next day, Basura ends up talking to Lars. In other words, you could call him Takigawa Yahiro. And apparently, it seems like um, Basura wants him to do something, and this involves grabbing some kind of perfume whatsoever, I believe. But apparently, it looks like it's going to get a little bit ugly and tensed up around here, you know? Lars expected Basura of wanting him to, like, um rig the system or something but at a big old price so i'm thinking in my mind oh man i don't even know how this is gonna go but boss right i hope you know what you're doing that's all i can say right now but eventually when the next day before the tournament came you know boss and mio had their own pleasurable time in a certain sense of making her submit and apparently when the tournament began the next day with mio going up against this young kid who summons a heroic spirit to help him out but Mio, after thinking, she was on a loot, she was about to lose, but apparently thanks to Mio's um, encouragement of like um, Basra coming back or something, promised to come back, she used her powers that she inherited from her, from her father, which was always given to her, no joke about that, and defeats the, defeats the thing. Next up is Maria's match, but apparently it is up against Lars himself, in other words, Taki, Takigawa Yahiro. So, I'm not really sure if this is Basura's idea or something to make things a little bit easier. Though, like, um, deter this can all determine on a certain motion of events of where this is going to go. So, for me, where is it going to go, you ask me? I do not know, but I'm waiting for the real, real event to come. Those of you who even read the light notes will know what I'm talking about. Well, I did take a look at a couple picks, but that's about it. That's all I can tell you for the time being. So, anyways... Pretty cool, pretty chill episode in a certain sense until the end of the episode and the cliffhanger right there. So, don't know what's going to happen, but it looks like it's going to get tensed around here. So, until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm off for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.